Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Are you still using that level one charger that came with your EV? If you are, you could be charging up to nine times slower than if you're using a level two charger. In this video, we're gonna do a deep dive into charging and why you should make the jump to a level two charger. Let's get into it. All right, everyone, so a lot of times when people buy their first EV, they use the charger that comes with their car or maybe they buy the cheapest one online. And a lot of the times, those chargers, they're made of cheap plastic and easy to break. In fact, with my first EV, I actually, on like the first week of owning it, I broke my charger. And additionally, these chargers, they don't charge very fast. This level one charger will pull 1.3 or 1.4 kilowatts of power delivering it to your car. Some cars have really big batteries. This one has an 85 kilowatt hour battery. Divide that by 1.4 kilowatts and that's gonna take a long time to charge. All right, so in comes the EVCO Level 2 Charger. So if you have this hooked up to a NEMA 1450 outlet, like I do, it will deliver your car up to 40 amps or 9.6 kilowatts of power, which is great and it's gonna work for most people's use case. If you have maybe a little bit bigger of a car, you want a little bit more juice, you can actually have an electrician hardwire this directly into your box and you can get 48 amps, which will give you 11.5 kilowatts. And if you do that option, that is gonna charge nine times faster than a level one charger that only provides about 1.3 to 1.4 kilowatts of power. All right, everyone, so I've been talking a lot about level one and level two and amps and kilowatts and all that stuff, but why does this matter for you? Why should you upgrade from your level one that you already have, that you don't have to buy another one of, or you should level up to the level two charger? So the best way to show you is to actually plug in the car and show you how much longer it's going to take to charge. Right now, I have my level one charger plugged into a household outlet delivering 12 amps to my car. I'm at 58% state of charge, pulling one kilowatt of power. You can see that right there. Every car is a little bit different, but most show you somewhere. And right now it says my car is gonna be ready by 9 a.m. tomorrow. Right now it's 2.51 today. And then I'm gaining three miles per hour. And again, this is all at 12 amps, which is the most that most level one chargers can provide you that you get from a dealer or maybe a cheap one online. Now, while that might be good for some people, a lot of people are going to need something a little bit faster. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out. I'm going to plug in my EVCO level two 40 amp charger is what I have it set up as now, but you could go up to 48 amps and we're going to see how much faster my car is going to charge. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my EVCO level two charger. I'm going to come over to my car. By the way, I have to speak really highly of the actual handle here. It's kind of rubberized, so I know if I drop this, it's gonna deal well with it. And additionally, this pin up here is made of metal, which is not common with a lot of those cheap chargers. So if you drop that, you break this, then it might not work or it might not stay locked into your car, which really is not the safest option. So let's go ahead, plug it in, and we're gonna step in the car and we're gonna see how big of a difference we have with our charging speeds. Now we are plugged in with the EVCO level two charger. Again, I'm at 58% state of charge, getting nine kilowatts of power. Now, if I look over here, I can see that the charge is gonna be done by 5.15 p.m., which is two hours and 15 minutes and much, much faster than the level one charger. Additionally, you can see now I'm getting 30 miles per hour whereas I was getting three miles per hour before with the level one charger. So obviously a level two charger is much faster. So again, just a recap, with the level one, it says it was gonna be done tomorrow at 9 a.m. That was gonna take 18 hours, where just having the 40 amp set up here for the EVCO charger was only gonna take two hours and 15 minutes for me to go from 58% to 80%. Now imagine if you had less battery and you had a level one, you might not even be getting to a full charge by the next day. So it's a clear, 
clear choice, in my opinion, to get a level two charger, especially one like the EVCO level two charger. So here's a chart showing the relationship with charge speed to charge time and miles per hour added. These are estimates, but it will still give you a rough idea of what to expect for your EV, because every EV will be different. So with the level one at 1.4 kilowatts, it's gonna take about 36 hours and 26 minutes to go from 20 to 80% city of charge, and that's gonna add 5.25 miles per hour. And in fact, my car was actually showing three miles per hour instead of 5.25 miles per hour. Then if you bump up to say 7.6 kilowatts, it's going to charge in six hours and 43 minutes, which is much faster and add 28 miles per hour. And then if you were to hook this up at the 48 amp setting, this EV co charger, it's gonna charge 20 to 80 in four hours and 29 minutes and add 43.2 miles per hour. So that is much, much faster, you know, 32 hours faster than the level one charger. Here's another chart showing the charge times for going 60 to 80% state of charge. And this is usually what I do every day. I'll go down to 60% plug in and then charge back up to 80%. So if you use a level one charger at 1.4 kilowatts, it's gonna take 12 hours and eight minutes. And depending upon when you actually get home, that might not be enough to get you to work if you wanna get back home at 60% state of charge like I do. Now, if you bump up to 9.6 kilowatts, that's the setup I have right now with the 40 amps coming from the NEMA 1450 outlet, it will be done going 60 to 80% state of charge in one hour and 46 minutes. And again, if you were to hardwire it, it would at 11.5 kilowatts, it would take an hour and 28 minutes. So in my opinion, it's so, so, so worth it to have level two so, so that you have these short charging times. And if you wanted to turn around and go somewhere when you get home from work, you could wait an hour or so and then have a good amount of state of charge added. So real quick, I just wanna talk about some of the key features of the EVCO Level 2 charger. First off, like I said earlier, it has a really awesome charging handle. This is actually one of the best charging handles I've ever held, maybe even the best, and that includes public Level 2 charging. It's kind of rubberized, it's got that metal pin, and I, I really enjoy, enjoy holding it, very ergonomic, easy to use, and it comes with this, where you can store that there and you can wrap the cable around as well. Additionally, it has a 25 foot cable and you could see when I was using it, I'm able to have it here in the middle of my garage, which is kind of the setup I had to do because of where my panel is. And I'm able to run it out to my car. And obviously for my wife, she can easily plug in when she pulls in uh, every night to charge. Next, this cable that connects to the power supply is 3.1 feet long, and that actually allowed me to get a little bit closer to the exit of my garage. That way I could make sure that this will reach my car and charge, but that's a nice feature as well. Additionally, you can actually change the power level. So inside, there's a dip switch, which you can adjust based on kind of what setup you have with your charging situation. Make sure an electrician does all that stuff for you and the directions clear, clearly say which setting to have for the amperage. Again, mine, it comes standard set up as the 40 amps and that's what I have because I have uh, four, uh, 40 amps here connected to a 50 amp circuit. But again, leave that to an electrician so that everything is safe and you don't have to worry about anything. You can also adjust the amperage on the app and it has a really nice app. You can go in there, you can slide it and it's by the one amp, which is pretty interesting. And you can adjust it to whatever you want it to be. And in there you can also set up schedules and you can see charging data and you can even put in how much electricity costs and see how much you're actually paying every month to charge your car. So it's a really awesome app, a really awesome charger and I really can't recommend it enough. This is, for me, one of the highest quality units I've ever used. So here's a chart comparing your typical level one charger that you get with your car or cheap and online and the EVCO level two charger. So first, the level one charger is at 120 volts, whereas the EVCO level two charger is at 240 volts. And that just means it's gonna charge faster. Second, for the level one charger, they're usually 12 amps. Sometimes they can even be eight amps, depending upon the charger. And the EVCO level two charger can go all the way up to 48 amps if you have it hardwired to your panel. The level one charger is gonna provide you around 1.3 to 1.4 kilowatts of power. 
and the EVCO level two charger can go all the way up to 11.5 kilowatts. I have mine set up right now to provide 9.6 kilowatts of power. If you were to charge a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack with a level one charger from zero to 100%, it would take 53.57 hours. Whereas if you use the level two charger at 11.5 kilowatts, it would take 6.5 hours. So much, much faster. Level one chargers usually are NEMA three rated and IP 45, meaning they don't have as many weather protections and aren't as great for outdoor use. The EVCO level two charger is NEMA four and IP 66, meaning it is weatherproof. You can have it outside. It's safe to use and you can feel confident using it outside. Level one chargers also usually aren't certified. So you don't know how safe they actually are and you might end up having issues with them later. Whereas the EV code level two charger is UL compliant. It is ETL certified, Energy Star, FCC. And I just wanna mention, I won't even recommend a charger to anyone unless it's UL or ETL certified. So this is ETL, it gets the average EV thumbs up. And lastly, these are eligible for rebates. Now when it comes to quality, most level one chargers are cheaper. And if you buy a cheap one somewhere online, it's cheap for a reason, because it's not made well. It's hard, brittle plastic, flimsy cables, not durable at all. Whereas this EVCO level two charger is heavy duty. Like I said, it has that fully rubberized connector with that metal tab. That way it can't be broken no matter what, or at least you'd have to try really, really hard. And it has a durable enclosure with internal ribs. So this thing is really safe, really well built, and you can count on it lasting for a long time. Well, there you have it, everybody. A practical comparison between a level one and a level two charger. It's really clear that level two is the way to go if you can have it installed in your house. It's easy and convenient. There's nothing better than coming home after a hard day's work, plugging in, knowing that your car is gonna be ready to go so that you can take on whatever adventures you might have the next day. And again, like I've said many times throughout this video, I cannot recommend enough the EV Co level two charger. It's so easy to use, it's safe, it has has all the certifications you would want to ensure that your family and home and EV will be safe. Additionally, they built this with feedback from actual EV owners so that EV owners have an awesome experience. And also, this comes with a three-year warranty, which means they believe in this product, they back this product, and they're gonna support you throughout your ownership. So again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are interested in the EVCO Level 2 Charger, I have a link that you can use. You can go there and you can purchase this charger. And while you can go buy some other cheap charger, I think if you spend a little bit more money, get a high quality unit like this, you're gonna be free of headaches and you're gonna have the best possible EV ownership experience. So thanks again for watching and I will catch you all next time.